Hi guys, how are you here from TechMediaFusion.com? Today I've got an unboxing of the Airport Express as you can see. Um, now, as most of you know, I already have uh, an Airport uh, base station. And so the reason for buying this was about six or seven months ago, uh, for the past four or five years from when I first bought this uh, Airport base station, the Wi-Fi signal throughout my house has been pretty okay. Uh, upstairs and stuff like that, the iPads and the iPhones or iPod touches or whatever have been able to still get a signal quite reasonably well. But up until about six months ago, all that changed. The signal dropped uh, upstairs, um, the iPads weren't being able to connect to iTunes, that type of thing, because the signal was so weak. Uh, and I tried everything, I tried messing around with the airport uh, base station settings, that type of thing, trying to make sure that the the signals were okay, everything like that. And I don't know what it was. I don't know whether Apple put out some sort of firmware that maybe just changed things slightly, or perhaps whether it's got something to do with the fact that our neighbors and stuff like that, more and more in them are going online and maybe the signals are just bouncing around and it's it's causing interruptions. I don't really know what the reasons are behind it, but nevertheless, um, it's a fact. And so uh, I've gone out and bought a, an airport Express and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, install that upstairs uh, in my son's bedroom where his computer is uh, and hopefully that's going to extend the signal throughout the house and so therefore upstairs the signal is going to be fine for the mobile devices. Now I just want to point out as well that the majority of this is all relating to the mobile devices that we have in our house. If we take uh, say my daughter's MacBook Air and she's using it upstairs the signal from that is absolutely fine so you know swings and roundabouts anyway let's get into this unboxing of the airport uh, express uh, just get into it here That's it. sorry my fingers and thumbs here hang on a second okay so as you can see normal apple packaging let's get this little thing out now this cost me 79 pounds so uh, pretty reasonable when you take into consideration that this can be pretty much used as a, a standalone uh, networking device but obviously in this case this is just a, an extension so that's the device itself pretty much uh, you know they've just recently changed this and so this is pretty much the same size as the uh, Apple TV but let's set that over to one side let's bring the box over here see what we get in here okay so there's the, the power cable for it bring the box over uh, and then there's all the usual literature and I'm guessing that there's Apple stickers in there as well I'm sure there will be let's set that in the box get that out of the way and we'll have a look at the, the thing itself now what, what I'm gonna do is uh, I will be doing a video of setting this up and showing people how to extend the network so if we have a look here on the side um, there's uh, like looks like a little power button or something there but you, you've got the light here uh, anybody that's got an airport base station or anything like that will know that uh, this little light is quite important because it flashes amber or green letting you know the status of the, the device um, see whether it's working properly around the side there, there's nothing on the back where all the uh, important stuff is you have uh, your USB port I'll just let me point that out to you the USB port is here uh, your power cable goes in here and then you've got your ethernet connections here uh, now from what, I, from what I can gather if I put this upstairs and I plug in an external uh, hard drive onto this it will be the same as me plugging in an external hard drive onto the base station so therefore it will become like a, a networked hard drive and anybody on the network can access it so that's uh, a plus point as well um, you can also plug in things like uh, printers that type of thing into it as well which same will add another printer onto your network Turn around the side, there's nothing there. Let's just remove this cellophane altogether. Oh. 
and as you can see you know it is very very small very very light and uh, as I said to you earlier on it's it, I think it's pretty much exactly the same size as the um, the Apple TV don't know whether you can see there the Apple logos on the top it's very difficult to see in this light you can just vaguely make it out and then on the bottom you have this kind of like rubber feel texture to it and again the, there's an Apple logo one there as well so that's it guys very very straightforward simple but what maybe won't be so straightforward and simple is uh, extending this network that type of thing so I will be doing a video on showing how to go through extending your network uh, and hopefully everything will go okay anyway guys thanks very much for watching this video don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter all the links to all the social networking sites that I'm on is down below and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Don't forget to look out for the video where I will be going through um, a tutorial on extending your network should you have one and you are having the same or similar difficulties to what I've been experiencing. Thanks guys. Bye.